All right, so first of all, import your logo to Photoshop, then go to select color range and separate your logo from the background. After that, add a line texture and clip it to your logo. Then go to the blend diff of your line texture and move the white slider to the left. And then move the white blending slider of the logo to the left as well to get some line strokes in your logo. This helps to add a horizontal line effect that you may have seen in many holograms. Adjust it to your liking and you also might want to separate the logo from the text by duplicating the texture and changing the slider settings since the logo is a bit thinner. And after that make a group and duplicate the group and this time instead of the white sliders move the black sliders to the right to get some small black lines in the logo and we're going to use this to add some variation to the texture of the logo. Just play around with the sliders to get your desired result and then duplicate it again and instead of the line texture add a dot texture, clip it and go to the blend if and move the both sliders just a little bit to get some random pattern in the logo and now to add some more variation to the texture we're going to use a noise texture as a mask. Import the noise texture and use the color range to select the black parts and use that selection to create a mask for the group. Unlink the mask from the group and move it around to see what looks best. You can also use levels to increase or decrease the contrast and intensity of the texture. Now to add some solidness to the logo, I'm going to create a solid layer and clip it to the logo. And then I'm going to paste some thin outlines here and there on the logo just to make it pop a little bit more. And after you're done, repeat the same process for the symbol as well. And after the logo is done, we need to add some rules. You can do that in Photoshop by creating a solid color and setting it off screen and painting on top of the logo. But for some accurate results, I'm going to use Blender 3D for this. So export your logo as a PNG without a background and import it into Blender. Switch to camera mode and connect the logo to the alpha and emission input. And then use a color ramp to tweak the values of alpha and emission and also change the emission color to whatever you like. I'm going with blue color for this one. Also, make sure to enable Bloom in the render settings to get some nice glow and then hit render. After rendering, import the image into Photoshop and then add a camera raw filter and also add a motion blur and paint on some part of the logos to add some motion to it. And you can also add some particles, clouds or dust overlays on top of it. But that's pretty much it for the hologram effect. I hope you like this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more.